I'm in the mood for singing, singing along with you. I'm in the mood for singing, singing along with you. I'm in the mood for singing, singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that today. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Hi everybody, welcome to School of Home Circle Time with the Mirror Valleys. Today we're talking about animals that we see in spring. We'll start our day with a prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for the many animals that you have blessed us with. Thank you for the nice weather and for our friends and families. God, we thank you for this day, for home and school and work and play. for us. One is from Caterpillar to Butterfly and one is Frog on a Log. So this one is called Caterpillar to Butterfly. And my nephew came over yesterday and he found a little caterpillar. It did not look like this. So I wonder what kind of moth or butterfly it was. And last week Nora from our from K2 found a butterfly and we figured out that it was not a monarch even though it had orange and black stripes. It's like we found. So pretty interesting. Caterpillar to butterfly. When in the fall Oliver and his mom got us a chrysalis and when we move on to this book we'll show you what we had in our class. A pretty orange, black and white butterfly lands on a flower. This is a monarch butterfly. This is milkweed. Monarch butterflies lay eggs on milkweed plants. Number one, milkweed. Number two, this is an egg and it's a blown up picture of the egg. Guess what? The monarch butterfly eggs hatch in four days. Wow! For human babies, it takes nine months. So that's a long time. Four days is not very long. Number three, there's the caterpillar. The hungry little caterpillar eats the milkweed leaves. It grows bigger and bigger. The big striped caterpillar is finished growing. Now it attaches itself to a twig using a pad of silk. Guess what? As the modern caterpillar makes its silk pad, it looks like the letter J. J. It looks like the letter J. The caterpillar turns into a special hard shell called a chrysalis. One, two, three. So Oliver and his mom um, gave us one of these chrysalises to have and watch in our classroom. And it was very exciting. The caterpillar changes into a moderate butterfly once inside the chrysalis. Guess what? Another name for chrysalis is pupa. The new butterfly crawls out of the chrysalis. One, two, three. The monarch butterfly's wings are folded and soft. Guess what? The caterpillar changed into a butterfly in about 10 days. The butterfly stretches its wings as they grow stronger. The orange and black butterfly flies away. And guess what? Monarch butterflies visit flowers to drink sweet juice called nectar. So, egg, 
tiny caterpillar, big caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly. Other animals that we have seen in the springtime are frogs. Now the frogs that I've seen are not orange. My nephew came over and he showed me some frogs, some big and little green frogs that he had found near the pond near his house. Just like Alex and Emma. And I know that, so yes, his name is Alex and he found a lot of them. He also found some turtles and some tadpoles. And I know Nora in, in K1 has some tadpoles growing and changing in her home. This one is called Frog on a Log and it's by Phil Roxby Cox. This is a rhyming book. Frog sits on his log by the bog. With one big hop, he jumps over the bog. Off he goes, frog likes to jog. I'm the jogging frog from the log by the bog. I've never seen a jogging frog. Frog's jogging has ended. It is foggy. Out of the fog runs Pup the dog. Pup can't see. He bumps into Frog's log. Frog falls off into the bog. You silly dog. Frog is back up on his log. Along trots Big Pig in the fog. Pig is looking for Pup the dog. Now he bumps into Frog's log. And Frog falls off into the bog. You silly hog. Next day it is sunny. Bump into my log, says Frog. Oh, is Frog trying to be funny? No, he has strapped himself to the log here. He's not going to fall off. He says, try it again. Bump your log, barks, barks Pup the dog. You will not call us silly dog and hog. No, bump away, croaks grinning frog. I cannot fall off. I'm strapped to my log. So Big Pig and Pup the dog bump into the log. Uh-oh, which tips back into the bog, taking with it foolish frog. Frog is a gog. Now it is me who is silly. A silly frog. <laughs> Your challenge today is to count the number of moths, butterflies, or, frog. or frogs that you see. Maybe you can take a little nature walk. You don't have to catch anything. You can just have a look and count them and see how many that you count. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four green speckled frogs. Glop, glop. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three green speckled frogs. Glop, glop. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were two green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled mug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was one green speckled frog. Glug, glug. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. 
He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there was